dear students now i am going to explain about the physical significance of wave function are bonds interpretation of wave function so in the previous video we have discussed schrodinger's time independent wave equation there i mentioned this wave function so what is this wave function what is its significance what we can able to get by using this wave function so that part only i am going to explain so first let us discuss what is the definition for that what is mean by wave function so it is the variable quantity okay it is the variable quantity which is associated with moving particle this is very important term actually this uh, wave function we are discussing in the wave nature of the particle it takes it moves one the waves which are associated only with the moving particle so the quantity which is associated with the moving particle at any position at any time okay and then uh, and moreover how can we understand this it it relates the probability of finding the particle why they are saying like this at a particle at the point and the time in the sense now listen carefully electrons okay this is electrons so electrons means it will be like this but this uh, if the electron is moving it will be associated with the wave it will be associated with the wave so if we try to hold the electron at a particular point for example at this point i am trying to hold the electron but the wave is associated with it you know so that will move somewhere else at the moment i fix by the time the wave will move somewhere else so i cannot hold this electron at a particular point and at that particular time why because which is associated with the wave so i cannot say at this particular moment the electron is present it, at this point okay so it is very difficult why because which is associated with the wave so the moment i try to hold the electron at that particular moment the wave which is associated with the electron will move somewhere else right so this is the main thing we have to understand about the wave function so what the wave function gives so the wave function will give for example if i am considering one particular volume so this volume so within the volume whether the particle is present or not that probability it will give okay that probability so at this particular volume okay so whether the particle is present or not for example here the particle is present so i can say the probability is there whether suppose in this moment, place i am considering the particle is not there so that probability can be given by the wave function so i hope you can understand now okay so it gives the probability of finding the particle at that point and at that time okay that is nothing but given volume so what is the formula for wave function psi is equal to psi not e power minus i omega t so this is the formula for the wave function psi is equal to psi not e power minus i omega t so by using this only we are going to discuss the physical significance now we know what is the wave function what it explains what is the significance it is giving so that part let us see one by one so few points we are going to discuss about that so let us start from the first point so what is the wave function gives the wave function gives the information about the particle behavior okay where the particle is that kind of information will be given by the wave function that is the first point and the next point is it is a complex quantity right why because the formula for psi is psi is equal to psi not e power minus i omega t okay e power minus i omega t so i is the complex number so the whole psi is the complex quantity complex quantity so due to this complex quantity if you consider individually this psi it does not have any physical meaning it does not have any physical meaning why because it consists of the it includes the complex number okay so that if you consider individually it does not have any meaning okay then next question arises for you so why it if it is not having meaning then how can i uh, understand and how can i use yeah the answer is here in the third point that is when we consider modulus of psi square so how can we get the modulus of psi square psi into psi star what is the psi star psi star is the complex conjugate of this so what is the meaning of that psi not e power instead of minus i i have to consider i omega t 
okay so complex conjugate means the symbol will be changed so psi naught e power minus i omega t so now what if you multiply both what will happen i into i become i square and then the minus uh, actually minus of i square we will get so that minus i square is equal to minus 1 so that it become positive value listen carefully here so when i multiply this psi with the psi star psi star is the complex conjugate of this psi okay when i multiply this both this i become minus of i square so minus of minus 1 is equal to plus 1 so the modulus psi square is real value and positive value i mentioned here real and positive so this moment this point it has the physical meaning it has the physical meaning so previous point what i said as this uh, psi is consisting of complex number it individually it does not have any physical meaning then when it will get the physical meaning when it is multiplied with the complex conjugate that time the modulus psi square become real as well as positive so now it is having the physical meaning so now you will have the doubt what physical meaning it consists okay that is the next point so the psi square represents probability density or probability of finding the particle per unit volume just now i have discussed in the uh, definition part what is that this wave function gives the probability so within this volume whether the particle is present or not that kind of probability can be given by the wave function so that is the physical meaning so the modulus i square represents the probability of finding the particle per unit volume so how can we find the probability what is the equation that is our next step so the formula for finding the probability so probability of finding the particle probability is represented by p p is equal to triple integral of modulus psi square into d tau so modulus psi square just now we have discussed that is psi into psi star value okay and the d tau is nothing but it explains the uh, volume so dx dy dz d tau is nothing but dx dy dz so triple integral one for x one for another one for z and uh, y and another one for z so x y z that is the meaning of this triple integral modulus i square into d tau that is the volume integral okay which is nothing but volume integral so the probability formula is equal to p is equal to triple integral of modulus i square into d tau okay so now one after the other we have seen okay so what is that wave function okay what it explains and then if you consider individually it will not have any meaning the next step how it is getting the meaning by multiplying with the uh, complex conjugate and then it becomes the real and the positive what a physical meaning it is having that means it gives the probability of finding the particle and what is the formula for finding the particle that also I have given so the next step is if the probability value vary from 0 to 1 what we can able to get the answer now listen the probability value will have any value between 0 to 1 so what is that if probability P is equal to 0 what is the meaning for that okay either the particle is present or not only this two thing okay so within the volume whether the particle is present or not so if the particle is not there means the probability will be zero the probability will be zero see here the first box there is no particle present within the volume so the probability will be zero so how can we explain this p is equal to zero p is equal to zero means there is no chance for finding the particle i can write like this there is no chance for finding the particle for finding the particle no chance for finding the particle means what is the meaning there is no particle okay there is no particle within the limit no particle within the limit within the given limits okay within the given limits that means within this volume there is no particle present okay that is what the meaning for p is equal to 0 next one p is equal to 1 so what is that p is equal to 1 hundred percent chance is there okay hundred percent chance for finding the particle hundred percent chance for finding the particle what is the meaning the particle is definitely present within the given volume or given limit okay so hundred percent chance is nothing but the particle is 
definitely present definitely present within the volume within the given limit within the given limit so now you can understand what is that result of this probability okay probability value only from 0 to 1 0 means no particle 1 means definitely the particle is present if suppose you are getting any value in between 0 to 1 for example i am writing 0 0.7 Okay, so if P is equal to 0, this one, this is P is equal to 1, if this P is equal to 0 0.7. What is the meaning of that 70% chance for finding the particle? Finding the particle. Okay, and the remaining 30% no chance for finding the particle. 30% no chance. No chance for finding the particle so this is for finding right so this is what the probability value vary variation that is p is equal to 0 p is equal to 1 p is equal to 0 0.7 p is equal to 0 means no chance no chance is nothing but no particle here 100 percent chance for p is equal to 1 that is definitely the particle is present okay if suppose p is equal to 0 0.7 70 percent we can find the particle and 30% no chance for finding the particle. So, in this way, we can understand the physical significance of the wave function. I hope you understand this. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment box. So, thank you everyone. <laughs>